and I, I kind of, I, I saw the jellyfish one in downtown Bikini Bottom one earlier, but I wanted to wait and see if I had missed any others, so I didn't go back and research just for a few and then miss more. This area, man. Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. This is an interesting one, and I'll tell you why, if you'll bear with me to listen. It, oh, after this. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. A shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. He's mad because we did him dirty in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, the video game, because it was so garbage. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Yeah, I guess. I guess you could relate that. Being thrown off your own ship. It's, that's, being like, that's like being kicked now out of your own house. Or pulled out of your car and like GTA. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Okay. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size three? Adorable. No. But if no. you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Oh, I like booty, now, booty, old oh boy. That's my Xbox gamer tag. If you want to add me. But <laughs> anyways, booty is. Oh gosh, I keep getting interrupted. This thing. We've already seen this thing. It's funny because this is technically where you get introduced to it. But chances are you've seen it in SpongeBob stream. Chances are you've seen it in. Uh, is there one in Kelp? I guess not. I guess SpongeBob's dream is. Anyways, yeah. It uh, I think this is called slick. It basically shoots oil out, and you gotta you gotta destroy its shield and then hit it. Oh gosh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, like goo or slime, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, um, yeah, you gotta hit its shield and then you gotta hit it again. You can bubble ball into it. Or some people, in some situations, it's less trouble to just cruise bubble it. Also, that is also really annoying, because when it hits you, it does a big blast, like, and it, it basically pretty much destroys your momentum and sends you backwards. And even if you're jumping forward, you, you really can't, you're not. You can jump to the side, it, it's annoying. So try to kill this thing um, as quickly as possible, if possible. Look at that. That's the three times, and all I did was hit its shield. You're not really supposed to touch it, and I, I can't even get back to the edge. Let's keep a tracker, guys, on how many times I die by this thing. I promise you it's not that difficult. Okay, I just canceled it out. It just because this platform, I can't really bubble ball over there because it's a different, like, height. When the shield's gone, you can hit it. Okay, see, look, we barely made it that time. Destroy its shield. Boom, it's gone. It's not that hard, it's just that was a weird platform because I had to actually get over there and he kept hitting me. Um, but no, this area is actually pretty interesting. Um, if you look, it's only got three socks, so you're not doing a lot of hunting there. Um, it's not really... Uh, it's kind of that... It's really that area in the game, I feel like, where it gets overlooked because you're ready to beat the game. You're ready to get past it. It doesn't have a lot of collectibles. It's like... It's not memorable, but it, it's not like it's forgettable. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, you know, in, in a way. It just, um, the way I see it is, it's a really interesting area. Like, out of, uh, I was talking to a friend recently. And out of all of the areas, like, if I was sitting down making a SpongeBob game, I might not have thought of, like, a Flying Dutchman related level. Um,. Like, I would have thought of, you know, obviously Jellyfish Fields is big, and the Mermelair was a cool one. Goo Lagoon's a big one. We didn't see Glove World. Um, I'm going to fact check this. I have a bad habit of, like, not fact checking before because I forget. And then I get in an episode, and I'm like, oh, all these things. I, I wonder if this is, and I forget to do my research. I'll try to get better at that to improve the quality of the Let's Plays. But uh, one thing that I believe they talked about in the original game was a Glove World area, and it was cut out, and basically in favor of... What? Did that not do anything? Oh, no, never mind. I know what I'm missing. 
this opens up, I think. No, it doesn't. It doesn't open up because of um, a button you have to hit. That that thing. Which is actually cool that it shows that because I don't think it showed that in the original. In the original, it would open up, but you couldn't do anything. And then I'd always wonder, oh, how would I go about closing that? Um, or, like, getting rid of it. Is it going to get there in time? Oh, it did. That made no explosion sound. That lowers it. Um, but we were supposed to get a glove world. It was cut out from the original. Um, I don't really know what it was in place of. It just didn't make it in. Which, glove world is an iconic SpongeBob area. So that seems almost like a give me. Um, oh, gosh. Um, this actually, this one isn't too bad. Ooh, um, yeah, there's just... Oh. Woo! Oh gosh, it's a little bumpy. Sorry, it's hard to multitask. Keep bumping around. And we got it, that was easy. Okay. But yeah, it's not really all that terrible. Um, Glove World was cut out. I don't know which one we got it in place of. And whenever they were making Rehydrator, one of the big things they were talking about was at one point they had said, or promised, to put all originally cut and deleted you know, content from the game, from the original, into this new one. And so I thought we were going to get Glove World. They talked about Robo Squidward was in the original. We got Robo Squidward even though it was in the form of a very lame and forgettable multiplayer mode that... Like, when they said multiplayer mode, it was like, oh, wow, horde mode, wow, new characters such as Mr. Krabs and Squidward and Roboplankton, wow. And then I played the multiplayer mode, and during it, I was like, oh, this is awesome, but, like, is this all that's it? And then, next thing you know, that's all, and that's it. And then you get it bored of it after, like, the second time. And there's really not much to it. And you're not really, like, even fighting... Robo Squidward that much. You're fighting waves of enemies that in effect get rid of Robo Squidward. But yeah, this one, a big mechanic of uh, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard is, um, well okay, I say a big mechanic. A big mechanic would be needing to like wall jump or bounce or I don't even know, stick, whatever you call that. I guess it's a form of wall jumping. Uh, this first area requires you uh, to have these platforms you kind of got to make a puzzle out of them and you got to basically push them in an order to where you can get them jump down here and there's another spatula we've already gotten two right here just easy ones off the bat um, so yeah pretty pretty easy ones just to get don't worry about jumping down here you're like oh no how am I gonna get back if you didn't see there's this thing so it will take you back to where that was um, so, but for this one, you hit that platform over there, and then you gotta you gotta hit that guy over there. Hit this one over here. Well, okay. Don't know why it didn't work the first time, but it didn't. But flying Dutchman's great word. Usually, I feel like for most people, like this, the way I play it, it is. And then shoot. Um, I feel like for most people that I've heard play it, or like friends. They usually do Flying Dutchman's Graveyard last, just because kind of chronologically it does cost the most uh, spatulas. It's also last on the map. Um, not necessarily this map, because it's oriented different, differently. Uh, but on the original it was last, so just kind of out of habit. A lot of people that played the original play this one last. Um, oh gosh. Bro. Why didn't the bubble wall work? I did two bowls. That's what I'm talking about. It's kind of annoying. There. Gosh. So we are going to come back as Sandy and uh, swing over there so we can get that sock. And then we'll already have one of the three socks. Um. Oh, shoot. I didn't even go up here. Yeah, this is the whole area. You don't even have to do, but there's a sock up here, so I would recommend it. Okay. I'm glad I hit the button. Uh, it's There's just, the, the thing about this area is, um, I feel like it gets slept on. Like I said, you know, it's kind of one of those last, gosh, I didn't want to do that. If I can destroy that guy, that would be awesome. Um, no, let me go here. It's, it's an area that you do last a lot in Norman, uh, most of the time. Um, it kind of, how do I say it? 
Where is it? Am I lining this up right? I don't think I am. What the heck? Oh, stop. This is so annoying. There's just keep spawning dudes. Oh, I see. Okay, now put these together. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push Anyways, like I was trying to say, it's an area that doesn't get a lot of clout. It's kind of underrated and slept on, in my opinion. IMO. It's a neat area, not one I would have thought of. It's got a kind of a vibe, like a spooky, like, oh, you're in a graveyard, you're in Flying Dutchman's area. Because it's not an area that's really touched on a lot. I mean, I was talking to a friend, uh, friggin' Mermelair. Okay, that was also a pointless little tongue slide. Um, not Mermelair. Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom was in one episode. One episode. It's all it really, all the content it gives you is it's dark. They go, which isn't even used in Rock Bottom. Some of the dudes look a little funny because they look like aliens. Um, and it's like, well, and, and it gets an area, but Glove World. For some reason, Glove World, they're like, uh, what do we want to do about Glove World? We don't uh, know what to do. Also, where's the, where's the little changing station? Oh, uh, yes, I remember. Okay, um, yeah. So actually, what you gotta do is, it's kind of annoying. Um, you gotta go into this next area. Because in the next area, there's a bus stop. And then, you turn into Sandy. And then you go... Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's gold. Platinum spatula. whisk. Whatever. There's one. I'd collect there. a platinum whisk. Yes. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because the freaking bus stop is way over there. Um, so we're gonna have to go back. Hop on these things. And there's this little platforms. If you stay on them too long, we'll drop. But not really a reason for that. Um, I honestly forgot what this area is called. It's the, uh, what is it? It's, uh, it's like the ships, the, I don't know what you do with ships. It's like the, it's like the, the graveyard docks or something. I don't remember. Um, where is it? Yeah, here it is. It's the bus stop is over here. You gotta be sanded. You gotta go back just for that sock. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to collect. Um, actually. Oh, what the heck? What was that camera? It just took me off the other way. We're going to use these Texas things to get over there a little bit quicker. See, what you're going for is that little ship over there. But we're not going to do that because there's a lot more of the level. And obviously we don't want to. Oh, gosh. We don't want to do that. Why they can't put a bus stop in this freaking area is beside me, but other than that, a great start to flying dust with graveyard. The first area you do really quickly. You swing, you swing, you swing, you swing, and you swing. You thought you could hit me. 75 socks. We already got a third of them. Or actually, no, two-thirds of them in this level. So we're only looking for one more sock. Yeah, that's the thing. is This area, I feel like, is also really quick. Like, as a kid... As a kid, I found this area to actually be somewhat challenging. Which is why I didn't really like it. And I kind of slept on it. Uh, because if you're not good at, like, wall jumping or, like, bouncing or whatever you want to call it... Um, it's gonna be a little bit annoying. It's gonna be a little bit frustrating, and that's frustrating too. That is frustrating, but it's gonna be a little hard. But getting better at the game, which I say is I just got done dying, um, it's not too bad. Did I just do the same exact thing? Okay, I actually made it back that time. Forgot that Sandy's jumps are a little floatier, and she stays in there longer. I also realized I just walked right past a bus stop um, up here. They have two right beside each other. They have one he here and then one up there. But they don't have one. 
It's almost like they acknowledge the fact that, yeah, you're going to go back as Sandy and get the sock, and then you're going to come back and need to be SpongeBob again. So we should probably put another bus stop at the bottom. But, uh, yeah, so now we got to turn back into Sandy. We were just Sandy, like, a minute ago. Not even that. 30 seconds, maybe? Bad camera angle again. Yeah, I'll show you what I was talking about up at, um, you know here in a minute. You can already kind of see it right here with these arrows. Um, yeah, it's going to get good, man. It's going to get good. Whew, okay. It, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I really do hope that you guys are, like, playing through this game or maybe you're going to play through it at some point. Oh, dude, I forgot to, I forgot to bring up some big news. Um, yeah, big things have happened since uh, last time I was recording this. Um, I have a Switch. I have my own Switch. Uh, I've literally wanted a Switch since they came out. Uh, I remember asking for a Switch for like, gosh, what seemed like, probably it was like three, three years in a row for Christmas. And my family was never like the big, like their thing growing up when I was younger was like, if you get one big thing, you don't get anything else. And I was okay with that. I was like, dude, I don't care if I only get a Switch for three years. Like, that's all I wanted was a Switch. Never got it, which, you know, I just kind of learned to live with. All my friends had Switches. I didn't have a Switch. Yeah, no big deal. Um, but finally, moving out, got a job. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a Switch. And it felt so good. It was kind of a reward for, uh, I'm starting my fourth semester of college. Yeah, my second semester of my sophomore year. Oh gosh, I knew that was going to be bad. Such a small platform with the slick right there. That doesn't spell anything good. And here we are doing this again. Um, but I got a Switch, so it feels really good. Um, it's really nice, exciting. Uh, I got it kind of like a doing good for school, doing good at school so far kind of uh, gift for myself. Kind of my own Christmas present. And then, uh, you know, so I'll also be using that for um, Let's Plays almost assuredly um, at some point, just a heads up. Um, I've been playing lots of games on there, so if you got any to recommend, feel free to always hit me up with recommendations. I'll never turn you guys down and be like, oh, no, why did you recommend me that game? Uh, unless it's something just stupid or like as a joke. Um, but yeah, and then I also got a new gaming chair, which you can't see because I don't do the camera on for these uh, this game. I usually try to do it. Um, yeah, we got a spatula right there just for doing that. Usually, the, my method with that, with face cam, funny story, I guess I can tell it while I'm doing this. Um, it's kind of one of those things where, th also, this is the difficult part I was talking about because you, kinda, you can't go too fast, you can't go too slow. You gotta time it just right to stick with them. Um, yeah, you gotta, there you go. Not too bad. It's not terrible. But my method with that is, like, when I was starting out, because when I was watching YouTubers, I wasn't the type that watched the face cam guys. But, like, the whole reaction and, like, looking at faces. Like, I'm not going to watch YouTube to look at some guy's face. Um, this is also very difficult. It's going to annoy me. I'm going to try not to focus on it. Why did it go down? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to talk while I do this. Um, but I didn't, I don't like watch YouTube to nice. I don't watch YouTube to like look at people's faces. I started it because I wanted to watch gameplay. My first ever video on YouTube that I like, not just like, not like a how to video, like my series, uh, like El Pier. I got into Chirac Conroy. I'll shout him out. I was watching his Majora's Mask playthrough. Um, just, just literally not even trying to, I was just trying to figure out how to do a part of the game, and I was like, okay, this guy's pretty smart, he's really intellectual, I know if you listen to him, you know, um, oh, the Dutchman's ship, that's the next area, but he didn't do a face cam, a lot of the guys I was watching, Steven Plays didn't do a face cam, he does now a little bit, um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain after this. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Yeah. Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot yeah, ship. Yeah, so that's basically what you're doing. Once Going over to the robot ship. Off, 
Destroy the generators, then destroy the cannons. cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. Ha. Huh. So yes, pretty easy stuff. Pretty. Oh gosh. But yeah. Uh, so I, that's why. That's just why starting out for the longest time, even after I got a face cam or like a, a webcam for like school, because you know, because Zoom when we started doing that, I was like, yeah, friends were like, oh, are you gonna do a face cam? Are you gonna do? Um, no, I wasn't about that. Because uh, that was just my philosophy. There's one of the four cannons. Also, something else I recommend doing. Take care of this guy, because you're on floating platforms. Is save yourself some trouble, man. And then also, there's going to be a um, one of those robot spawners. So when you can, try to take care of that. These also fall, so be careful. Um, but, yeah. I, I just wasn't a big face cam guy. I thought it was kind of stupid. Not stupid, it just it wasn't for me. Wasn't why I watch YouTube. And finally I was watching a few guys getting into it and I was like, you know what, this could be something fun. So, you know, I'm not gonna be just going overboard. I didn't want to go and just do every video with face cam because well, for one, it's a lot it's a extra work to pairing it up, making sure it looks good, it's something else to you know, that could potentially go wrong. Um, but it, it, if it's for the right channel or the I'm sorry, the right videos, right playlist, right series with something that I feel like is really funny or like like getting my reaction would be like oh very cool but like who wants to see my reaction for Spongebob that's not like most of the time it's literally just me lost staring at the screen yapping about random things like I am now um, but yeah every now and then I like to go into the like kind of why and the backstory of like why I do things a certain way or how I want to do things um, so that's kind of interesting and fun. Once you destroy that thing with the cruise bubble, you can take those guys out and they will not respawn. This platform will go up. Um, the thing is, is that it doesn't really do you any good. I've never understood the point of this. Because you can't make it anywhere. You can't change. And once you become Sandy, you can't sponge ball again. So, like, what good does that platform really do you? Um... I'm not really sure. I think it, it's just a little thing where you can use it, get up there, and then cruise bubble them is kind of more the point of it. But just the the way that they have the um, the little Texas slingy thingies. That's what I'm calling them, the slingy thingies. The way that they're aligned it makes you think that you need to use them there. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, can I use it? Please, please, please. Okay, it didn't work. But I'll come over here otherwise. Um, okay, so I can I can get up here one way or another. But yeah, so that's why, you know, maybe some, maybe some games I'll decide to do a, a face cam, and some games I won't. Okay, there we go, I got up here. Let's get up here first. Swing over here. And maybe, and um, the thing is too, I'm open to change, so, you know, let's say, also I need to, I, I don't think I can, you gotta be smart about for that. Um, Oh, okay, it's a bus stop right here. I'm open to change, so, like, if there's ever a series where I start it and I don't have a face cam, you're like, wow, this would be, if I get just some overwhelming responses, like, hey, this would be cool to have a face cam, this would be funny. Or if it's the other way around and I'm using a face cam and you're like, uh, I think this game would be better without it, it's a little bit distracting. I mean, I'm not gonna take that as offensive and be like, oh, you, you think I'm ugly, you. Uh, I'm just gonna be like, alright, that's cool, it'll make the series better if I don't have it. So I'm not mad. There's another one. As you can see, this area is not that terrible. Um, let's get rid of that guy. Um, let's see. One thing let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and get this sock. And now we have all the socks. So yes, that was incredibly easy. There we go. There's one over here. Where is it? There we go. All cannons ready to fire. That one opens up, and that's where you need to. Uh, that's where you need to hit the final button. We can go ahead and collect the spatula, but before we do, obviously, you want to get up and you want to get this uh, spatula that's up on the top of the mast or the. Um, the uh, shoot, I, I'm such a terrible pirate. I forget what it's called. Yo ho, the pirates go. I don't actually know what it's called. 
Um, let's see. Honestly, that's uh, quite a ways away. I actually don't remember how you get up there. That's really high up there. Um, uh, how do you get up there? Uh, I'll count to when I'm up there. All right, so there's these things here. Um, we bounce. Oh, that's how. Yep. I was gonna say, I know you can't hover up there. There's gotta be some sort of thing or, or steps or bouncy pad, but yeah. So, fall that way back there. And now, if you're careful. Did I get that purple? I did. Solid. And now we can turn into SpongeBob. And having uh, got all but one. Wait, what does it say? We missed a sock. Got the sock from the first area. Oh uh, yeah, we did miss a sock. Hang on, I'll go back for that. I know, I know where it's at. At the at the end of this level, I th this one wasn't in my. It's not that I left it out of my notes. I just freaking just went right by it. It was it was a stupid one. Now we get good music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cancel Sandy Cheeks. That's a little bit, uh, um, what do you call it? Old school. I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily socially appropriate these days. Um, I'll let you guys figure that out. I know that, I don't know if you guys watch basketball, but I know there was a reporter one time that, uh, Freaking, he got fired because he was talking about Russell Westbrook when he played for the Thunder and was like, oh, he's out of his cotton pick in mind. Obviously, a terrible thing to say, since considering he's African-American, or, um, and, uh, probably not the most best thing to say in that moment. Um, yeah, phase two, keep hurting the ghost. There's three phases, because obviously there's three, he has three lives, or three, like, health bars. Um, it, this battle is kind of stupid. Um, not, not necessarily the battle, like, itself is kind of neat, like, it's cool that you're fighting the Flying Dutchman. You're getting revenge from Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Technically, we didn't do anything to him at the beginning, so we're getting our revenge. I guess now he would be getting his revenge, but, I mean, what we did to him in that game, which was technically the first one, um, we, it was kind of well justified. But, no, this battle, like, the reason you're fighting, it, it's just stupid, it's like... Hey, you did this level and you got him his shit back. Um, you got him his ship back uh, so he could get back in it. And he was going to give you a spatula if you did. And now he's like, oh, yeah, never mind. I'm not going to give you the spatula. And then Sandy's like, wait a minute. Or, and, a, and a little more of a old school southern way it was, wait a minute. And there's like, no, you better give that back. And he was like, no. And then they're fought that you, you know they fight for it and then pretty much after you beat him spoiler alert he's just like oh okay you hurt me so I, I guess I'll give the spatula back it's just like really random it's like the level was gonna be too short so they're like uh we gotta add in some length uh, a flying Dutchman fight would be cool I guess um yeah yeah um we're gonna fight him cause he's actually says he's not gonna give it to you and then there's fire while Sandy's talking. That's epic. Yeah, you don't even really, like, technically beat him, beat him. You're still dueling. And then you're, like, in the middle of the duel. 
And SpongeBob's like, oh, I'll make you a bubble ship. And Flying Dutchman's like, you know what? That's fine. You can have a spatula for this. Ah, the negotiator. A bubble ship for a golden spatula. I accept. So 85 spatulas. We're only 15 away. And obviously, you know, the last... So the last two we get here. So we want to go into Chum Bucket Lab with 98 spatulas. And considering that we're about to have all of the socks, about to have um, 80 socks... We're going to get eight spatulas just from there. And then uh, I'm actually going to do a little bit of grinding um, to get some uh, shiny objects so we can turn those into Mr. Krabs. But uh, before that, we need to go get those socks. One from here, one from Kelp Forest, one from downtown Bikini Bottom, and then one from Jellyfish Fields. So I will cut when we get those. All right, so this one was a little bit tricky. It actually, I forgot to mention it because I was just, this was in the middle of me just kind of talking and yapping and doing whatever. There was a sock right under there. So now we have all the socks from Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. So now it's only fair that we go to downtown Bikini Bottom and get that last sock. All right, here we go. The last sock that we missed, and I don't know how I missed it because I really, really remember getting this one. Um, I remember jumping off and uh, going to get this freaking sock, um, but apparently I missed it, so um, I'm sorry that I did that. This one apparently was just a stupid one, but now we have 78, which means let's go to Kelp Forest, sadly, and go find that sock. All right, this one makes me mad, fellas, that we missed. Fellas and felites, or female felite, female fellas. This sock right here, I really remember getting this sock. This is another one that, maybe that's why, I don't know. I'm going to go back and look it up and see if I had friggin' done this one. Because, I mean, I'm glad that it's an easy one to get to right off the bat. I mean, we, we really only have one sock left, guys. 79 out of 80. But I really remember doing that one, so without further ado... It wouldn't surprise me if I missed another stupid one in Jellyfish Fields. Let's go there. Are you kidding? A. I'm bad at bowling. And B. That was the last sock. I actually did not know that it was there. I thought I had already done that. I started looking through. I was like, I remember getting all these and these and these. And it came down to the cru this one and the cruise bubble one. I was like, did I not come back for one of them? I, and I remember doing the cruise bubble, so I got this feeling in my stomach. I was like, I bet it's the freaking sponge bowl. I bet I forgot to do that. And, uh, yeah, so, wow, we have all 80 socks. All of them here, all of them here, 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 and here. Oh, and don't forget Bikini Bottom. <sighs> wow. Well, we started our adventure in, uh, jellyfish field so um what a coincidence that we end our well not necessarily our adventure but what a coincidence that we find our last sock there i was gonna say where we found our first sock but we didn't find our first sock there so what well, we're at a uh, 85 spatulas so eight we should go up to about 93 wow spongebob you now they're back here's your i don't and basically, I'm not going to do this over and over again because I'm not going to show all of this. I'm going to show it at the end because, you know, this over and over again will get annoying. Well, Alright, the last one. Here we go. The last time that we'll get to speak Italian. Does he get any extra dialogue for getting them all? Now if I could only find my other sock. It's on your head, remember? Well, of course. What? Now where did I put it? Bro, I don't even see it. Unless it's talking about that sock that was just chilling here. Um, that's crazy. But yes, we got all the all the spatulas from Patrick. All those socks. So now the only thing left to do, because remember we want to go in here with 98. Uh, we gotta start turning in some shinies, which I've already got a few. So we got five more. This will be 4,500, 5,000, 5,500, 6,000, and 6,500. 
So uh, we have enough to turn in the first one. I'm going to go ahead and go do that. Um, and while we're doing that, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Um, not even like a hey, thanks for being another viewer. Thanks for being another, you know, number. Just thanks for watching because I've had a lot of fun doing this. I know it's not quite over yet, but um, I know it's getting to be where it's finna, finna be over, boys. Um, he's over here. But I'm really glad that you guys have been watching. Really is awesome to have people like even if it's just a few you know just kind of watch me playing video games because you know that's that's the dream right there man that's fun wish i could keep doing it forever um, yeah so 5,000 shinies we got 3,500 the next thing to do is grind there don't forget to like and subscribe